Hi, hello, welcome. My name is Shelley, and today I am going to do the Booktube newbie tag. So, before we begin, let's just mention the plant in the background. It's not really doing its thing, but I'm trying to figure things out with the, this plain background, and that plant just happened to be close. I, I, I don't think it's going to stay, but it's here now. So, Winston has a lot to say as well. So, the other thing I feel I should mention is you're not exactly new here on the YouTube sphere. I've been here for a little bit now. I've done a couple of videos. You might have seen some. You might have not. Doesn't matter. <laughs> so, why am I doing the Booktube newbie tag now, you might ask. Um, why not? I mean, I've done a couple of videos, sure, uh, but I very much feel like I'm still in the newbie sphere, as it were. You might also ask, why haven't I done this tag sooner? Well, it's because I didn't intend or still intend for my channel, this little square here, to be, to be only books. Uh, but as has worked out so far, I've done mostly book videos. It's, it's not going to be mostly book. It might be mostly books. Uh, I want to do other things as well and not just talk about books. I mean, I love books. I would gladly talk about books forever. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I guess Winston had some things to say as well. <laughs> so yes, uh, I don't intend for this channel, this little space here to be only about books, but so far it's been mainly about books. So I thought, why not just do this booktube newbie tag because it's there, I'm here, you might be there, you might have clicked off already. I don't blame you. I kind of brushed on some of these questions in my first video. <laughs> I'll link it if you want to see that. It's crap, but it's there. Rambling aside, cats jumping in aside, let's just get into the questions. So, question number one. Why did you start your channel? <laughs> I started my channel because it's been something I've been wanting to do for ages since like 2012, 2014, somewhere along those lines, not sure on the exact date, uh, but that's when I started watching YouTube videos and starting watching other people do this and do other things as well. Uh, and I was like, I want to do that. And I was scared shitless. So I didn't do it. I kept making excuses to not do it. Yeah, I mean, Winston wasn't even alive when I kept making excuses, but he agrees. <laughs> so I kept making excuses for why I shouldn't do it, for why I couldn't do it. And then I was just like, let's just do it. So I did it. And now I'm here. Question number two, what are some fun and unique things you can bring to booktube or YouTube? Um, <laughs> I don't think that I can bring anything like unique that hasn't really been done before except for the fact that I'm unique because I'm me and nobody else is me. Does that work? Uh, pretty much I think that most of the things has been done already. Uh, I might be doing my own spin on things, maybe, or maybe not. I might be better, I might definitely be worse. Who cares? I'm having fun and hopefully you all that watching that thinks it's okay to watch. Question number three. What are you most excited about for this new channel? 
So like I said, it's not exactly a new channel. It's newish. Uh, it's not that old. <laughs> Well, something that I've been wanting to do and have sort of done is to do the videos. To do whatever video comes up, uh, what I can think of or what I've seen other people do and I want to do my own take on it. Basically all that and I, I really do like the filming and the editing part. I'm still very new at it. I mean... Mm, I could definitely be better at both the filming and the editing, definitely the editing. But I mean, the editing software I'm using is a free, very basic one. I can't really do a lot with it. But my idea for it was that I would use that to begin and, you know, learn how to do the, the basic stuff and then depending on how it went and how how I was feeling about it uh, I would upgrade to maybe something that costs a little money but you know I don't really have the money to buy the uh, fancy uh, fancy stuff so I make do with what I have so question number four what do you love about reading well reading for me has always been like an escape an escape from reality for some time when I was little I didn't have the best environmental ways that's a topic for another time my love of reading started when I figured out that when I read I could I could escape into these worlds that these fictional worlds and I love that part and I still love that part <laughs> Uh, I mean, what's not to love? And sometimes you learn these weird words that are not used in everyday speaking and um, yeah, <laughs> it makes you feel a little clever to actually know what those words are. Mm, am I right? Question number five. What book or series got you into reading? So, like I said, I've been reading from a very young age. Uh, I first, when I progressed from the picture books, as it were, I got into the Nancy Drew books and I read a lot of Nancy Drew books. I basically read, I didn't read all of them because I think there's like hundreds of them, but I read a lot of them and I kept kept on from there and then I sort of forgot what it was to read you know you get busy with school you get busy with friends and activities <laughs> and then I didn't read for a good while and then the book that got me back into reading was this book yes book number three not book number one book number three I read this one first and then I sort of fell out of reading again <laughs> as can happen and the book that got me back into reading again was this monstrosity <laughs> and from there we moved on to <laughs> and then we just sort of progressed from there and since since that point, I haven't really stopped reading, not for that amount of time. I mean, from first phase one of reading, it was years until I picked up the next book. And then it was years again until phase number three started. Uh, as can happen. I mean, I'd say it was a reading slump, but I don't think it was a reading slump. I just think I got busy with other things and uh, I forgot about books yeah sad sad life let's not let that happen books are great question number six what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers or youtubers um <laughs> want to be friends <laughs> I'm joking uh am I <laughs> creepy I guess it's just like how do you juggle it all I mean how do you juggle real life 
because you know being on YouTube isn't really real life but how do you juggle real life responsibilities with coming up with new ideas and keeping a schedule and and everything that goes with everything goes with life because I can't do more than one thing at, at a time uh, I mean I try but there's this thing called multitasking, but they say that there's no such thing as multitasking. There's only doing several things badly. Yeah, I don't think I do things badly though, but I don't, maybe half-hearted. Question number seven. What challenges do you think starting a booktube channel will be the hardest to overcome? I guess sort of like the same as the question for the other YouTubers out there. It's the juggling part. That's what I've found so far. Because I started and I did book miss with basically straight away with 24 <laughs> videos in a row. Um, and then I think I sort of burnt out as far as uh, ideas for videos and actually wanting to pick up the camera and do filming. Uh, so the beginning of this year was a bit let's say it wasn't great uh, I feel like I've sort of gotten into the rhythm of things but um, yeah I, I think that's the challenging the the challenging part of of doing it is finding ideas and actually sitting down or picking up the camera and pressing record because yeah, that, that can be hard once you get once once it's started, it's fine. But starting it, yeah. Question number eight: When did you start reading? So I learned to read when I was about three. I I always had like these picture books, these children's books, and I used to like flick through them. And you know, there's not a lot of text in them. There's just basically pictures with some text. And I learned to read from them um, mainly because my mum who was like in school and working at the same time she was a single mother um, didn't really have all that much time to actually sit down and uh, read to me so I went through this phase well I'm going to learn to read so I can just read myself and I did I mean, I didn't actually teach myself how to read. I, I got help with that part, but I did learn to read <laughs> very early. And uh, it was a downward slope from there. Question number nine, where do you read? So I read everywhere. I read, mainly I think I read in bed or on the sofa. I also read when I'm in the bath sometimes if I don't feel like watching a movie. I read on the balcony when it's nice weather. I read on the public transports if I'm not with someone. You pick a place and I've probably been there with a the book reading. Question number 10. What kind of books do you like to read? So I like to read all kinds of books. I mean, there's not really a specific genre or like tropes or anything. I know I read mostly like YA or middle grade sometimes, but a lot of fantasy, probably more YA fantasy than adult fantasy. Um, but it's very mixed because I read a lot of like chick lit books as well. I guess the only thing I don't really read is like poetry. I don't read a lot of like uh, biographies as well i mean i do read some but not a lot uh because when it comes to biographies i kind of want the author to be you know the person it's actually about i want it to be an autobiography basically usually it's like it's either a pretty cover it's a fun title it's an author i've heard of um the plot line seems intriguing basically any of those and I'm like yes give it to me I will read you that was it for me today as far as tagging I tag Val you know you want to do it you're starting up your channel you know you want to do it also Katie you haven't done this tag so you do it too <laughs> and anyone else who wants to do it 
do it. Let me know, I will go watch your video. So yes, that was all for me today. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care, oh, bye bye.